right, Ian, we have a Patreon for the podcast, don't we? We do. Patreon.com slash CU Podcast. What do you get? Oh, I'll tell you what you get. You get... You get... The full video podcast. You get a monthly hangout, which I will probably do this weekend. Uh, You also get uh, about a once weekly writing from me. I just posted one up about Dragon's Lair because that's how my brain works. I get focused on something for a couple of weeks and that's all I can think about. So go read about my experiences with Dragon's Lair. And we also do these poll topics. You can vote on a topic. What do we got? All right. In uh, third place, what do you miss about gaming conventions? 17%. Uh, in, In second place... 20% 20% besides Super Mario 35 what retro games can make good battle royale games and in first place at what is that 61% and by the way I'm not getting rid of choices 2 and 3 in the Patreon you got to vote those in because these are good topics there's a stay what would a CU podcast garage sale potentially look like so it's a patent Ian garage sale Ian what would that look like to you we, we went in together on a garage sale <laughs> that is a garage sale that i would want to go to i've been thinking about this topic and i think it'd be a fun one i think it'd be one of those garage sales that people would travel for what would i likely be getting rid of at a garage sale if we were to have one in a month i can tell you what that i i would be bringing i would be bringing uh records that i no longer need um i would be bringing lcd games that i no longer need um oh, and, me too. and i would be bringing um I would be bringing uh, a bunch of uh, I'm getting rid of more and more of my 3DS and regular DS stuff um, because uh, not because I need the money but because I play those so little and I'm starting to realize that if I don't want to start forking out hundreds of dollars for some of the games that I want on the PC engine uh, I should probably sell some of the video game stuff that I'm not using and and, and put it towards it so uh, this has been a topic that we've been thinking about for a while and it really has helped me kind of go through in my head and um, think about what I would be getting rid of say at the next convention when whenever whenever that actually happens to come around um you know the the stuff that i would be willing to to part with um so yeah i think it would uh records i wouldn't ever take to an actual convention but a garage sale yeah i'd have records out there i'd have games out there mostly portable related stuff um and i would possibly even be looking to offload and sell off some of my board games i've purchased a lot of oh, board okay. purchased a lot of board games over over the years i love board games it's just not in my friends group uh, the certain games work certain games don't and some of the you know uh more like war focused board game board games I have a lot of hill stuff not exactly that but i mean yes stuff you know of that level of complexity i just have to realize that i'm never gonna i'm never gonna play it i have a ton of tabletop games and I, you know I mean. just get rid of them. And, they, and the thing is i always kind of forget i have them because we don't have them in the living room they're in like the the bedroom on a shelf but they take up so much space board games more than anything take up loads and loads of space oh sure and if i was in a position where i could still play them regularly or i played them regularly i wouldn't matter but at this point it's just looking like money that's sitting there that i could use for other things Uh, anything else any clothes you would sell no uh clothes would be one thing you definitely wouldn't see at a garage sale from me because i wear my shit until it's absolutely just to the point of it needs to be thrown out oh okay yeah i don't think i have (laughs) like like old like like uh winter coats or things like that all worn to shit okay okay all right any toys you got that you would sell any knickknacks macho man statue I would not sell that Macho Man statue. I've had many people tell me that if I ever get rid of that Macho Man statue that I need to contact them. <laughs> um, <clears throat> I wonder what that statue's going yeah, I was, for. I now. just looked on it. I gotta, I gotta find it. Uh, Macho Man. Uh, so here's the thing. WrestleMania 5. Before I get into my stuff that I would have. Oh, let's talk about it right now. Okay. Obviously, I'm going to do the Great Pat Collection sell 2021. I'm going to sell a chunk of my stuff. About maybe 40-50% by volume. It'd be a volume sale. But I have so many toys, so many toys, that I'll probably end up doing the same thing where I'll, I'll have like a toy seller come out and buy a bunch of my toys. I mean, I Ian, I have stuff from obviously lots of G.I. Joes that are worth a lot of money at this point that weren't worth that much five, six, seven, eight years ago. Mm-hmm. I probably have $2,000 worth of G.I. Joes easily, maybe three $3,000 worth of G.I. Joe stuff. I have a bunch of He-Man stuff, a lot of He-Man stuff, Ninja Turtle stuff, Transformers stuff. I even have stuff like crash test dummies. 
Keep my muscle. Really? Out. Yeah, yeah. They're hard to find. The crap. I wanted one complete in the uh, new in the new in the fucking package uh, figure. I have a lot of toy stuff. Um, I have a lot of comic books. Like I have to sell a lot. Those will go cheap, except for you know the ones that are the few that are worth money anymore. I look at comic books when I go to swap me, and I'm like, this is all garbage. These comics are worthless. 99% of comic books are worthless. Um, but I have some good stuff. I have stuff that I collected when I was a kid in the 80s and 90s. I have stuff, Silver Age, Bronze Age stuff. Not a lot of high gray stuff, but I got some good stuff. I got the first appearance of Iron Fist. I got the first, you know, Luke Cage. You know, I don't, I don't have a comic book that's probably worth $1,000 or $2,000, but I got ones worth hundreds probably here and there. Um, you know, or at this point, I don't know. Um, so I got stuff like that I'm going to sell. Obviously, like I said, some of the game stuff. Uh, I do have some t-shirts I throw in a pile that I never wear. I have some t-shirt stuff uh, that I have there. I have, I have some, uh, I have the tabletop, I have a lot of Avalon Hill games. I have the fucking cyberpunk tabletop game. Uh, I have that, you know, I think, because when, when cyberpunk was announced, like, I think I, that, I recognized the fucking logo. Um, so I think I have the, the tabletop game, which came out like, like 84 or something. I have it somewhere in a box. There, I have, I have the, the, there's an alien one I think I have. I believe tabletop game, so I probably well, your eyes lit up. I, I got I got some of these. I mean, it's things. probably awful, but yeah, I'm I'm just thinking about it. I mean, Frank has the board game. We played the, the Alien board game from '79. It's fantastic. So like, I have tons of board games. Obviously, tons of video game stuff. Um, I have tons of DVDs. Not tons of DVDs. I have DVDs that, you know, I'll keep some of them, but most of them I'll keep. Embrace the Vampire. That one's not going anywhere. You know. So um, so yeah, I have, we have lots of stuff to sell. Here's the thing, though, Ian. In the garage, so though people usually want things dirt cheap. Are you willing to let anything you have go dirt cheap? Um, the extra or cheaper, cheaper, yeah. I, I but I, I always, I, 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 that's how I end up selling all my stuff day one at conventions. I'm always cheaper than I should be at those things. Not like, not to the level where someone would easily buy it to flip it, but I'm probably a good twenty five percent cheaper than what going rate would be when I oh. sell things and I would I would I would definitely maintain a, a pretty low cost level because at a garage sale you just want to get in and get out you want it to be done as quick as possible I think at a yard sale if it's cash I'll go down to 50% 50 off oh sure I absolutely would too I'm just saying I I always start when I sell things I'm usually starting from a fairly low place yeah 50% off you're going to take you know if I sell a bunch of my game stuff it's going to be it's going to probably end up in the 50% off range probably like yeah there you go yeah, have a ball. Collecting it, reselling it, I don't care. You know, you know, take it. Uh, there you go. So that's probably what's going to happen. Um, any, 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 any like uh, uh, bric-a-brac that you would sell? Any, any house houseware items or like plates or anything? That, that's usually at yard sales or like an old silverware set. You know, things like that that you don't think about. That oh, I got this laying around. Um, maybe, maybe some mugs. I feel like we always end up you got with mugs? more mugs than we need. I love mugs. And, and because of, of that, we end up with more mugs than we need, and it's probably time to let some of them move on. I, oh, I got a bunch of I got stuff like Star Wars soap from like '79 and '80. I got like Yoda soap, but like in the package, so I should just give it to, to Billy. Loves the old Star Wars stuff, uh, Billy Gate from Game Chasers. But uh, I got stuff like that like all around. I got little crap like that. I got I got um I got I got some pogs. I got a bunch of uh, a bunch of pins. I got a bunch of pins before the now was that big. Just regular pins that Frank would have. He gave me a bag of like sixty of them. You know, I got, I got, I got lots of good stuff. I feel like having a yard sale at some point. If I could do it and, and not give away my home address, I think I have a yard sale. <laughs> Just to pick someone's uh, yard somewhere else and do a yard sale. The flea market I did with Frank a few years ago was enlightening, be because, um, <laughs> because while I sold a good amount of stuff, I didn't sell even. I sold about a third of the stuff I brought there. But, um, and some of it was priced to move. But I didn't realize that you got to come out multiple weeks to sell all the stuff yeah i didn't realize yeah. that time i was like okay i'll mail some no unless you're literally giving the stuff away you can't get rid of it like i've uh i, I have the I, was, I sold some of the loot crate stuff there uh that was like right four years ago i did, did that with with frank um i think bobby and crystal have all my loot crate stuff <laughs> that they took from my storage unit but uh yeah that's the type of stuff i would sell i, I i'd have a good variety but yes you're right we would have people come from out of state if they thought oh pat and ian are selling a bunch of game stuff like people would come from out of state uh, it'd be like one of those Craigslist things where people put, remember the people put the fake Craigslist ad and, yeah and they weren't really there it, it, yeah. it would be nuts people would how, how early do you think people would get to our get to our, uh, our six. Right, six five they would get to it they they would get so early and ask to come in the house I'd be like seven o'clock come back come back seven o'clock 
So just to wrap up, the uh, statue I have is the WWE Icon Series Macho Man Randy Savage. I have wrestling figures too, by the way. I have figures and everything. <laughs> um, it's this is this is not a figure. Icons? This is a this is a big statue. Oh, I know. I've seen. I know it. Um, I cannot find one for sale anywhere online. It's called Icon Statue. Icon Series WWE Icon Series Macho Man Randy Savage. Um, a comparable out of print Icon Series statue for Triple H. Uh, which I don't think is worth as much, I saw going secondhand for $600. So I would imagine that this Macho Man statue, Vani once... The value. value. Yeah, Vani once told me, it was like a year ago, she was well, what, just what, like... What did it retail for? 350 I think. So they've gone up in the Three aftermarket. or 350 Oh, yeah. Um, they only made... I think they only made 300 of them. Oh, Wow. Okay. Uh, it may be 500 of them, but I know it was 500 or under. I think it might have been 300. McFarlane Toys. Wow. Um, yeah, and it was it, it was one of those things where, like, she never tells me the price of things, but it it kind of came out later on when it was like, oh, by the way, just be careful with that. Because <laughs> immediately people wanted those. Like, they sold out, like, super quick. Did you keep the box? Yeah, I've got everything for it. Oh, yeah. It's a, it's a gorgeous fucking statue. Right, I, think, I think it's going to go in the yard sale, maybe. Mm-mm. It was a gift from Vani. I don't. I don't sell gifts. You never sold anything I gave you as a gift. I don't think so. Okay. All right. Oh, I have a bunch of. You think Ian has handhelds? I got. I got handhelds as well. I got lots of handhelds and tabletop games and things like that. So we might have to have like multiple days. Like day one is like toys and tabletops. Yeah. Day two is like video games only because I think between me and you we can have just like. If we're talking about just a yard and garage sale, like we'll need more space. We'll just we'll need like the whole front lawn. We'll need everything. We'll we'll do we'll do the Luna commercial uh, yard sale. That's what we'll do. <laughs> remember that one? Yeah, I remember that. That that that, that helped film I was in. That was like ten years ago. Yeah, that was ages ago. That was wow. So all right, well thanks for that Patreon uh, poll suggestion there. Patreon.com/slash/cu podcast.